The Perry Cross Spinal Research Foundation is on the cusp of a human clinical trial to cure paralysis. And joining me live is Perry Cross, the founder and executive president of the Perry Cross Spinal Research Foundation. Perry, thank you so much for joining us. This is incredible research. It's certainly demonstrating that repair of a spinal cord injury is possible. Can you give us some background? Yeah, that's right. We um, have been working on this project for a number of years now. Um, the technology was originally developed by uh, a gentleman by the name of Professor Alan McKay Sim, who was the 2017 Australian of the Year. And unfortunately, Alan has now passed away. But um, we hope to develop this technology into a treatment for people who suffer from spinal cord injuries. Um, but before we do that, we have to go through a series of um, trials, including human clinical trials, um, which is a bit of a process. And, it's a very expensive thing to be able to do, test medical research on humans because it obviously needs to be very done you know, properly, um, but also sort of done on, on patients over a long period of time. So, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult thing to do. It's not easy, and um, but we're confident that we have, you know, a treatment that is promising. It certainly does sound promising, Perry. So tell us what this trial will test in terms of the safety and efficacy of, of the cells, run us through it. Yeah, so the plan is that patients would go through a prehab phase, which is probably four months of um, activity-based therapy to prepare the body, to get their bodies ready to you know, basically move again. Because I, the, the thing with paralysis is your body you know, sits dormant for a long period of time and the muscles start to waste, all those sort of things. So you need to get the body prepared to move. Um, then the plan is for the patients to go in for a procedure in the hospital here on the Gold Coast. Um, and our team at Griffith University are working on a, team, a, a treatment in the lab that involves taking the olfactory and sheathing cells from the nasal cavity. Um, it sounds like a pretty crazy stuff, but it's... Um, the nasal cavity is actually the part of the body, and the neurons regenerate the best in in our in our body. So it's right at the front of the brain. They're very closely aligned with um, the cells in our nervous system. And if we take those cells, we can then purify them in a dish um, in a lab, and then we can also grow a nerve bridge, and then hopefully transplant that nerve bridge into the patient's spinal cord, and that'll allow the the nerve to sort of re, um, repair the damaged area of the spine by um, breaking down the scar tissue so that messages and electricity can run between the, the top and the bottom of the spinal cord um, between that damaged area. And then the patients would then go back into um, six months of activity-based rehab again. So it's a pretty comprehensive trial process. It would take, you know, over a year to complete, but we're confident that this sort of technology um, can help people recover. It just sounds absolutely incredible, Perry. And uh, your stats show 20,800 Aussies have spinal cord injuries. You had an injury playing rugby union in 1994. Can you share your story with us? Yeah, I was um, playing a match in Brisbane and I grabbed the ball for ruck and got tackled and you know tackle at ruck formed and I was and I was injured I broke my neck and I remember the accident you know very vividly I remember laying there on the ground staring up at the sky thinking oh my goodness I'm just you know broken my neck I'm paralyzed um, because you instantly can't move and you instantly can't feel anything you know and that's hard for other people to understand but you, you, you become paralyzed immediately um, there's no sort of, you know, drawn out process. It's just an instant thing. And it's quite um, profound to even try and explain that. So um, for people who suffer spinal cord injury, it's very traumatic. Um, I spent eight months in hospital trying to come to terms with the situation, learn how I was going to live in the community again, um, learn to speak and eat and do all these simple things again. Um, and uh, it's... And it's also a very expensive sort of way to live in terms of the fact that I need someone with me 
24-7 just to help um, look after me, to support me, grab me a drink of water, um, get a couple of my meals, my personal care, all those sort of things. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very debilitating thing. So um, it's important that we focus on treatments and technologies that are going to help alleviate the situation from the, for people who suffer injuries. Perry, you're an inspiration and you are incredible with, you know, what you're what you're doing and, you know, our thoughts and your know, prayers are with you and so sorry to hear about your accident and, and again those statistics, 11% from sport accidents and 40% from vehicles, 42% uh, from falls. So, you know, we know that it, uh, it, we can, it can happen to anyone. We are so fragile and vulnerable and um, this, this is just absolutely fantastic as you said it's expensive so you need a lot of money tell us how people can donate and there's a philanthropic uh, side to this as well but uh, what can people do to find out more information yeah um they can go to our website they can google search Perry cross spinal research foundation our campaign is to raise 8.5 million dollars for this trial which will involve you know testing on 10 people um with so far, we've raised $5 million. So, you know, we're, we're going extremely well. The community is right behind us. We have a, a huge donor base and supporter base. And we're very grateful to those people for supporting us. Um, they all believe in the in this technology and they're you know, hopeful that if we can at least get the human trials, we can at least test to see how well this will work. And I think that's what's really crucial is um, the trial's ready to go. Just need the money now. So, um, yeah, if you're out there and you want to, want to support us, then please reach out. Absolutely. Well said, Perry Cross. Thank you so much for joining us, for sharing your story as well. I'll quickly share a story that um, I uh, have told you, Perry, but my sister was a passenger in a car accident. She became quadriplegic and she lasted for nine years and, and eventually passed away. So I know firsthand exactly how expensive it is, how much the 24-hour care you need and and you know it was uh, quite some time ago that she did pass but what uh, back then you know they were looking at stem cell therapy and so forth and it's been going on and on as you well know for so so many years so I wish you all the best and let's hope that the money is raised so uh, this research can be done and be successful Perry Cross thank you so much for your time